training. It breaks down your muscles, crushes your blood cells, stresses your nerves, and if you do it right, makes you fitter and faster. Your body is designed to repair itself to be stronger and faster, but only if you help it recover. Tapping into your body's amazing ability to adapt and improve. Regeneration, next on Knowledge and Performance. Contrary to what you might think, rest is just as important as training. Train too hard or too often and there won't be enough time for your body to regenerate. Your body will deteriorate instead of improving. The recovery period after exercise is completed is the key. That's your body's time to regenerate. To give your body the best conditions possible for recovery, there are two critical steps you should take. Cooling down, Managing inflammation. Most people have heard that it's important to cool down after a workout. Well, for runners, cool down or active recovery is critical for removing metabolic wastes like lactic acid. As soon as the muscle and blood, lactic acid levels are back to baseline. The muscles start using glucose to restock their energy stores, basically giving you a full tank of muscle fuel. The quicker waste products are removed, the faster your muscles will refuel. If you recover passively by just resting, then the rate of lactate removal from the muscle is extremely slow. The mitochondria have to keep working to process the lactate, which may take hours. However, active recovery to moderate intensity actually speeds up the removal of metabolic waste products. So take 10 to 15 minutes at the end of your workouts to do some active recovery and you'll feel so much better, especially the next day. Previously, we thought that the faster you could minimize inflammation in the body, the better for recovery. But more recently, researchers have found that the inflammatory response is a key part of the process that helps to rebuild the body stronger after training. When muscle fibers are damaged, white blood cells called macrophages rush to the area to clean up the damaged tissue. Meanwhile, the inflammatory process stimulates the production of a substance called insulin-like growth factor 1. This powerful hormone signals growth cells in the muscle tissue to build new fibers and repair damaged ones. The end result is newer and stronger muscle fibers. So don't inhibit the inflammatory process. Give your body the foods that it needs to fuel the process and speed healing naturally. Nuts, fruits, vegetables, and cold water fish are all great options. Make sure you're getting the most out of your workout by focusing on your recovery and regeneration. Here's some keys to successful recovery. Do five minutes of active recovery after an easy workout like your LSD run. 10 minutes after a moderate workout like hills, and 15 minutes after a hard workout like intervals. Give your body the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients it needs to heal. Nuts, fruits, vegetables, and cold water fish are great for athletes. And think of yourself as a 24-hour athlete. What you do after workout is just as important as what you do during workout.